Hi, I'm Kirk from Buzz Music. Thanks for watching. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, I went to uni and did a Bachelor of Music Technology, so I feel right at home in the recording studio. And one of the questions that we get asked the most is, how do you record yourself? What do you need? What does it take? How do you set it all up? Um, and we've been getting that increasingly in the last couple of weeks. So uh, I thought I'd give you a run through on uh, how to record, how to set your computer up, um, what you need to connect, all that sort of thing. So let's jump right on in. So I'm using today the Steinberg UR22 Mark II interface. This is a two channel interface to USB uh, and I'm connecting that here to a uh, MacBook Pro. Uh, you can use Windows PCs, um, you can use iOS devices. Um, you just have to check your interface for compatibility. So first things first, we've got it out of the box. I'm gonna register it. I won't actually register this one because that's obviously not gonna help the person that ends up buying one of these, but you do get a registration card from Steinberg. Down the bottom here in this little grayed out area, this is a, a download code to download the software. Once you download the software, it's just a simple matter of connecting the interface to your computer via the USB cable, which we've done as so. Next thing we're gonna do is actually check that the computer recognizes the device. Uh, so I'm going to open my sound preferences and I can see here that my output is set to Steinberg UR22 Mark II. If for whatever reason your device doesn't automatically recognize, you will have to head to the manufacturer's website and download drivers for it. I can also select my input to receive from the Steinberg UR22 Mark II. This now means that the operating system is gonna route all ins and outs through your audio interface. So things like uh, your web browser, uh, Spotify, Netflix, they will all play through your device and whatever is connected to it via headphones or the speaker outputs at the back. So, now to recording. I'm gonna run Cubase because that's what comes with the uh, Steinberg UR22. Uh, Logic, Pro Tools, Ableton, they all follow a simil similar method, uh, but you'll just have to find where the particular dialog boxes are for this particular uh, recording platform. So, here I have a session in Cubase. I've opened it and it is empty. So we have no audio tracks in, it is a blank canvas. First thing that I'm noticing is up here, I get a little warning saying that there's no audio inputs or outputs connected. I haven't yet told the software to use the device to record. Uh, because these programs can take input from any number of sources, you actually have to tell it where to take the audio from. So in, in Cubase, I go to Studio, Studio Setup. Here under the VST Audio Systems section, it's telling it where it's actually getting its source from. It's currently set to the built-in audio, so it's thinking that I'm gonna use the microphone and the playback from the computer. I don't wanna do that because it won't sound as good as my device here. So I click the drop-down menu and I'm going to select Steinberg UR22 Mark II. It will ask me, do I wanna switch the ASIO driver? Yes, I wanna switch. So it's now gonna route all input and output through this device. Great, but I still can't hit record yet because I haven't actually got any tracks loaded. So I'm gonna go up into project, add track, and I'm gonna add an audio track. So it's gonna ask me where to get the input source from. So I'm gonna plug my mic into input channel one. So I need that to say input channel one. Uh, it is going to be a mono source coming from a microphone and I want it to be routed to the stereo output. I'm gonna name this mic one. When I add that track, you can actually see it here. Uh, on Cubase, it's actually telling me that it's receiving input from mono channel one, and it's being routed to the stereo output. Cool. So I've now just created my first channel. Let's see if it's actually gonna work. Here I have a mic and a cable. I'm gonna plug into channel one, and I'm going to slowly turn up the gain. Now I can see on my mixer panel at the bottom here that I am actually getting signal from mono input one. This is my voice that it's actually detecting. But I'm not actually getting any signal on the channel because I'm not record enabling it or monitoring it. As soon as I hit monitor, I can see that I've got healthy signal level there. I could hit record right now, which I will. This is my voice. I am recording, test one, two. And if I zoom in close enough, you'll actually see that we've just recorded our first track. 
Thanks.